Hello, there is major news. After 38 years, the world's largest active volcano has begun to erupt. I've been gone for about seven days, so this is definitely a very interesting activity to pick up on. From Big Island Video News. At 11.30 p.m. HST on Sunday evening after months of unrest but without indication that an eruption was imminent, an eruption began in Maku Awio Wio, the summit caldera of Mauna Loa inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. When this eruption began, the USGS did say it was confined to the caldera. However, just about an hour ago on Twitter, or even about 40 minutes ago here on Big Island Video News, the USGS has reported that the lava is now on the northeast rift zone. At about 6.30 a.m. HST on November 28th, HVO scientists flew overhead the northeast rift zone and took these aerial photographs. There is currently asphalt advisory for most of the Big Island. Also at this time they say this eruption does not threaten life or property. However, there have been two shelters set up and we can see their locations here. Old Kona Airport State Recreational Area and Cow District Gym Multipurpose Room on Kamani Street. Right now citizens should be worried about volcanic gas, fine ash, and Pele's hair. Taking a look on the USGS map, it looks like the Big Island of Hawaii has seen 104 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Also, it's kind of interesting. Look at these uh, three earthquakes right here. It's just uh, it's kind of an interesting line of earthquakes. So this is also on uh, Big Island News, and this is an article that was posted in October 3rd, 2019. This shows a kind of a detailed uh, map of the Northeast Rift Zone. We can see the caldera here and how somewhat how far away the northeast rift zone is from that. And the Right now the lava has migrated to this northeast rift zone. Coming over to HVO, Mauna Loa of course currently has a red warning. Here we can view a couple webcams that the USGS has set up. Here on HVO we can see earthquake rates and depth for the past week. And of course on this picture here we can see an explosion of activity in the past 24 hours. Now here is electronic tilt at the summit and we can see a major disturbance. Now as a quick note, Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano. Now pulling up a couple strong motion seismometers, we can see some activity being picked up on a couple of these strong motion seismometers. Uh, we'll try to pull up stations just around Mauna Loa. Interestingly here at Mauna Loa Observatory there are two separate stations. Oh, they're on different networks, I see. Uh, these uh, look like they should have EHZ data. So this is actually a station near Kilauea, but we can see about 6 or 12 hours ago a big spike in activity, which is when it began erupting. Here's a station closer to the caldera. More stations are loading. A couple more stations. That station was basically right in the caldera. Here's another one. Here's another station right in the caldera. And we can also see on these stations around here they picked up uh, lots of good data. And also clearly no signs of imminent eruption. These all, this blue spike is, is definitely sudden. There's, there's no indication. It's just BAM! Big earthquake and now we have an eruption. That is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can't find anything else interesting that has happened in the past 24 hours. Coming over to Oklahoma at 2.33 a.m. this morning UTC time. It looks like there was a magnitude uh, 2.9 near Minco. Now this earthquake had 27 responses for the Did You Feel It reports and it had a Did You Feel It of 5. Coming over to California today around 1300 UTC, there was a magnitude 2.4 just east of Merced. Now, this had uh, five Did You Feel It reports. It was also east northeast of Le Grand. Still looking at Oregon, there are no earthquakes in Oregon. Coming up to Washington, it looks like Mount Rainier had a small magnitude 0.7 in the past 24 hours. Over here on the mid Atlantic Ridge, there was a magnitude 5.9 today at 0251 UTC. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.